This is the WOW X, a brand new electric bike made by WOW and it's manufactured right here in the UK. We have a lot to talk about on this bike, but before I cover everything, I just wanted to let you know that this comes in two models, the standard range and the long range. I have here the long range model with some additional optional extras that you can buy and I'll cover those in a second. But get this, on this long range on a full charge, this actually goes up to 100 miles. Yes, you heard that right, 100 miles. Even though this bike is quite lightweight and it's you know incredibly durable, it's just a great range to have on a bike like this. The other standard model actually goes up to 40 miles in range, which is actually pretty good as well. So how does it give you such a long range? Let's take a look at the battery. You need two keys to open the compartment here. It's a bit of an additional security. So let me go ahead and unlock these. This will open up. Now this is a 900 watt hour Samsung battery that can charge fully in around eight hours. But if you buy the optional supercharger, which I do have, then you can charge this up in half the time. So I can fully charge this in around four hours, which is great. One of the other standout features of this bike are these awesome smart lights on both sides of the wheel here, which is another key safety feature done really well. It has crisp and bright LED lights for braking and indicating. So these are the brake lights when I hold down the brake. And then these are the indicator lights here. As you can see and both of these lights are clearly visible in both daytime and nighttime elsewhere on the handlebar you have the front and the rear hydraulic brakes these allow you to go faster and stop harder in all types of weather conditions you then have here the switch for the eight gears gear one being for the more difficult hilly or uphill terrains and gear eight being for the fast flat terrain now to power on the device, you have a power button just on the other side of this plus. You hold this down for a few seconds and you'll see the WOW device has now powered up. These plus and minus buttons here are to increase or decrease the pedal assistance level. If you hold down the plus button, this actually turns on the front light. So let me go ahead and press that. This is an electric motor throttle. It's another optional extra that you can buy from the WOW website and this actually allows you to use the electric motor on the bike without having the need to start pedaling first. So this is an example. I'm just going to press the throttle and you'll see that it will go by itself. You see how quick that acceleration was? It's absolutely great to have this as an optional extra. It's just so easy in most electric bikes that I've used in the past, you have to start pedaling first before it kicks in the electric motor to start helping you assist. So I think that's great. Now let's take a look at the digital display here. You can get two displays with this bike. The standard one is a black and white one display showing basic information, or you can upgrade to an optional extra one, which is this, the color display that gives you a much higher quality screen. It also has some advanced settings, a speed odometer, ambient light sensor. So no matter which environment you're riding your bike in, it will adjust the screen display accordingly. And this also has a USB charging port at the bottom. Just underneath here, you can flip out the port, plug in your USB cable, and then you start charging your phone, which I think is great. These are premium Schwalbe anti-puncture tires, which are considered one of the best in the industry. So you can be pretty confident that you won't get a flat on your way to work, for example. Lastly, the bike comes with a key fob. This is another security measure so that you can actually alarm the bike. The first one is a lock. The second one is to unlock the alarm. And the last two is if you wanted to manually sound the alarm on the bike as well, just to deter some thieves. So right now, what I can do, the bike is on, but I can put it into a locked state by pressing the first one. That's giving me confirmation the bike is now locked. So if anyone tries to attempt to steal the bike or just move it, the alarm will go off. And here's an example. So let's say, for example, I've just popped into the shop and I didn't have time to just put a padlock on it. And someone comes across and tries to take the bike. So they'll release the kickstand and as soon as they start moving it you'll hear that the alarm will start going off you'll see a bit of a security thing and it won't stop until you manually turn the alarm off with the key fob so really good security measures there and if you wanted to manually sound the alarm you can just hold down the button at the bottom of the key fob like so. 
Alright guys, so now there's nothing left to do except to take this out for a ride and give you guys a performance review. Okay, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Now in conclusion, I think the key thing I would say is that no matter where I was riding, I felt safe with this bike. With all of the safety features that I've shown you that this has, it felt really stable and secure, which is more important to me than about how fast or how far it can go. Now I've tried both the electric power on-road and off-road. Although this is not an off-road bike, I wouldn't suggest taking it off-road like a BMX or anything like that but it managed to hold up really well in pretty much any condition that I threw at it. Comfortability wise, I would say that the combination of the suspension and its solid wheels, I found riding on this for about 45 minutes straight to be really good. But if I wanted to take it a bit further, you can also buy an additional suspension saddle, which is an optional extra on the WOW website, just to increase your level of comfortability. One thing to note is that the ideal height to use this bike is between around five foot four and six foot four so it is quite a high bike as you can see so just be aware of that when you purchase it and that's it guys hopefully you found that useful if you have any comments or questions or just any general feedback on this bike make sure you go ahead and drop a comment down below if you like this video and you like all things tech i have new videos out every week make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button make sure you like this video and i'll catch you guys next time take care